Hey there, and welcome back to Ahead of the Clock, where we give you, our trusted partners, two minutes of action-packed value to help keep you ahead of the clock. Okay, there's your clock time, girl. Ready when you are. What are we talking about today? Power for VOIP and PoE. Very good. Power for voice over internet protocol and power over ethernet. You ready? Born ready. Very good. Go. VOIP makes communication easier by using one network instead of two. The Ethernet LAN supports both voice and data. Another advantage is that VOIP phones can be powered right over the Ethernet communication line. Whoa, it's your rolling. PoE has redefined the way organizations think about powering network components, but it requires network managers, data center managers, and facility managers to reconsider the way power protection is extended to VOIP devices. 30 seconds. The right UPS for a VOIP infrastructure will be dictated by many factors. Oh, you, you got plenty of time to finish. These factors change with the use of PoE. For example, a communication closet with PoE capabilities consumes approximately four times as much power as one without. This difference affects UPS sizing and battery runtime, which in turn influences UPS footprint and installation options. Just over 30 seconds. The good news is that centralized PoE power sourcing enables you to effectively provide centralized power protection plus multi-layer power protection for added confidence. Power protection and distribution technologies are readily available to ensure that VOIP networks are not vulnerable to the challenges found in commercial utility power. All right, you're killing it. Wrap it up. Consider power rating, battery runtime, form factors, remote management, and be careful of hotspots. Uh, cooling, and you're done. Thanks for joining us on Ahead of the Clock, where we want to help keep you ahead of the curve.